All right, today's video is about the new cars that drop. We still got Dunktobers here. You can still do Dunktober things, but we're on old gen because the graphics just look better. We got the 70s era. They're calling this the greatest era, the 70s era edition. We out here, they're in this pack market. If you want to get pack markety, Okay, I see base boxes. I don't see any deluxe boxes, and these are discounted. Because if we look at Dunktobers, a 10 box of Dunktobers, a 20 pack of Dunktobers is 200K. So these, these here for a 20 box, for a 20 box, 140 VC. So, I mean, uh, if you want to spend something, I just told you in the last video, I'm not really spending. Let's see who's in these, though. We got Artist Gilmore. Oh, we should be able to click out to see the stats right here from this screen. Instead, I'm going to have to go... Let's go. Let's navigate over here. My collection. Um, uh, season one. Yeah, 70s. Let's go. Artist Gilmore is out here. We got Artist Gilmore, a seven foot two center. He just plays the center spot, though. He only plays the center spot. We we might want this center, but he is three point shot is 34. So nobody's hitting with that. I mean, you got to be good. You're going to have to be real good to hit with that. What is his block looking like? 97 block, 92, 97 interior. Offensive and defensive rebound and looking real good. Strength, 95, okay. So with a shoe, this card is going to be maybe rivaling somebody like uh, Wilt. Maybe, I mean, Kareem. What is he going to be able to do out here? Let me see what Wilt's talking about. Wilt's only a 94, so yeah, he's rivaling Wilt. Wilt can shoot a little bit, though. Nope, Wilt got a 39 three-point shot. He's rivaling Wilt. He's actually rivaling Wilt. Is he rivaling Kareem, a 96 Kareem? What is Kareem doing out here? The three-point shot on Kareem is at 62. So Kareem got him beat as far as I'm concerned. You put a 10-point plus shoe on, on Wilt for his three-pointer, and it's a wrap. It's a rizap. Defensively, he's he's rivaling Wilt, though. 94 rebounded, 93 interior, 92, you know what I mean, block. So, I mean, eh. Let's see. Artist Gilmore might be that guy. I'm not going to hold you. Artist Gilmore is always on my team. He makes my team just about every year. They always show him love. So that's a pretty good card. Do you want to search in the auction house? Yes, he's he's on. OK, so, I mean, I don't see any buy nows on him. Of course, there's no buy nows on him, but he is going for right now 400K with 11 minutes left. So, I mean, that who knows? That could get bid up in a second. Willis Reed out here. Power forward center. Um, eh, I don't know if I want Willis Reed, a 6'10 power forward center. I mean, I'll take a 6'10 power forward right now, but can he shoot is the question. 83 three pointer. 93 mid. It's not looking too bad. Can he rebound? Can he rebound? 92 rebound and 93 defensive. He's pretty fast too. 84 speed. Um, strength is at a 90. I'm looking for this card to be able to shoot something though. Like with an 83 three point shot, he's gonna be he's gonna be all right. Let's see a, a Paul Westfall, Westfield, Westfall shooting guard, power shooting guard, point guard. So he plays the two and the one. Six four shooting guard. I mean, eh. With an 85 three-point shot, I got a shooting guard that's better than that already, I think. I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, I do have a I have a shooting guard that's better than that. 92 mid-range, he's going to work out in the mid-range pretty good. Can he handle the rock? 86 ball handling, 88 pass. Okay, defensively, what is he looking like? 88 perimeter, 88 steal. Okay, so 88 speed, he's kind of a mid-shooting guard. Just not a shooting guard you're really looking for out here. Sydney Wicks, power forward, small forward. A 6'9 small forward, can he shoot? 55 three point shot. He can't shoot. He's gonna be able to get on that rim with a 93 point with a 90 dunk. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not looking for this card to perform for me. Sidney Wicks just does not perform for me. Depending on the badges, though, he would have to have some pretty good badges. His vertical is up there. He's gonna be above the rim with a 95 strength. He's gonna be getting them contact dunks. If you need somebody just to slash to the rim from the three spot, from the from the small forward power forward spot. Jack Marin, uh, six six small forward. Small forward shooting guard, 6'6", six, six, small forward shooting guard. He looks like he can shoot. 91 three-point shot. Yeah, he's going to take off on you. He's going to take off from three on you. He has an 86 ball handle. I mean, this card is looking all right. It's mid, and they're cheaper than these. These boxes are cheaper than the barbecue boxes. They're cheaper than the Dunktober boxes. There's, I mean, hey, <laughs> I don't know if barbecue boxes are still a thing. No, I don't think so. But Jack Marin, I mean, he's a shooter shooter. And then you got... Pete Maravich out here, and they did Pete Maravich wrong with a 92, 92 card, shooting guard, point guard, a 6'5 shooting guard is not bad, he's a tall shooting guard, can he shoot though, 93 point shot is not bad, 92 mid range is not bad, 
50 dunk though he doesn't get above the rim at all he's going to be a shooter shooter though and he has a 95 ball handle p maravich for a 92 overall card he might be one of those you can get to let's go see what he's going for on the block 115 with 20 minutes left on the block and he doesn't have any by nows but he is 115 with 20 minutes left on the block so i mean that's one that i'm not afraid to bid on honestly with 20 minutes left i'll wait till that time comes down a little bit but i'm not gonna put a bid in on him you see i only got you see i only got 113 oh 138 i got 138,000 out there so yeah that's not one that i'm really willing to bid on right now um yeah i'm trying to get reesey with my uh trying to get reesey smooth with my my magnifying glass out here you know what i'm saying i figured that out when they told me about the shooting glitch where you remap your buttons to your back paddles but i don't have back paddles so i figured out you can't remap and if you don't have the elite controller you're not going to be able to remap your shot stick into your back paddles to get that automatic green i might buy an elite i might buy an elite controller you see i'm over here on xbox i just might no nah, let me stop they, they don't mess around and ban y'all for running that let's see what these challenges are talking about though we definitely have challenge for these season one challenges we come down here to where is it? Dunktober, greatest 70s era. The greatest era, the 70s out this. You get a 10 box. You just got to complete some, you got to complete some of these joints. Get 40 rebounds over multiple games. Score 68 points with a player in a game. Make 25 three-pointers over multiple games. Score 22 points in a game with a small forward two times. Score 24 points in a game with the power forward three times. And then get five double doubles over multiple games. That might be the most tedious one. This 68 points game might be kind of tough. They don't really give you enough time. You might want to go into, you might want to go into a domination for this. I'm not going to hold you. You might want to go into a domination. I don't know how much time they give you in a pickup full lineup. Let's see what they do. Let's see exactly what they're giving us out here in this pickup game. Oh yeah, we're on old gen. I forgot about that. I forgot my bad. All right, here we go. We in here. They've given us a full game to jump into. How much time are these quarters, though? Can we speed through this real quick and get some time on the clock? Ref, can I please see some time on that clock? And you see the court. We got turbo and ozone in the end zones. We're going to run it up and then run it back. I couldn't get my logos, though. I didn't get my logos for my scoreboard. So we we, we repping the cookies. We repping the cookies. You know what I mean? We're going to run it up, though. How much time are they putting on this clock? In a full line of game, you get three minutes. I don't know if that's enough time to perform. For me to really get 68 points out of a player but it could work it could work out i mean the best thing i could say about doing this i would just back off and let them shoot immediately and then you know they're gonna miss if even if they don't miss it's not about winning the game then i would just call a pick and just bust as many threes with my highest rated three-point shooter maybe put it on real player percentage for them to just you know work out easy clear and free but that would be it and i would just not stick defense if i'm gonna run this three-minute game i'll just let him work out but see he's eating clock anyway so I mean, some of these teams are just going to run clock no matter what. So you see, I have two minutes and 24 seconds left. And I mean, that's, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy when you think about it. In the long scheme of things, if I'm trying to really come out here and get some points with my with one player, you know what I'm saying? I call a pick and roll and bust back here and then I pop a three. That took me a few seconds. Clock is still running. Like, I don't know. Let's see how much time it takes if I just don't stick any defense on this player. He's kind of chewing clock, but okay, he ran in there and got him a little, he got him a little floater, float game. He got his float, flotation device with him. He got his floaties on. He's in the pool with his floaties. And then it's taking a second for my center to get down here. I thought I caught a pick. I guess I didn't call it. Here we go, pop a three and I missed. So you got to keep that in mind when you out here doing this. And I don't like doing this on old gen. I just came to old gen just to get better graphics. It has better, these, these, uh billboards have better graphics on old gen i just i mean i can't act like they don't so getting that 68 points might be the one five double doubles don't seem like it's gonna be too hard to do um i mean any way you chew it that's how you're gonna have to run it if you really want to get right you're gonna have to figure out where you want to go do that 68 point game because if we come in here to domination and i'm struggling to get these dominations done how did y'all fight against these uh, these teams on all-star difficulty if we come in here though we will throw it on pro difficulty with our best lineup out there i mean that's just what we would have to do and let's get past all this loading this loading screen is taking forever on old gen we just want to jump straight into the game 2k come on like can i get there all right let's see how much time we get on old gen we still got to go through five minutes of loading screens 
Um, I hate looking at this. We're going to turn that filter off. I don't know why y'all put them filters on there. Nobody wants to play like that. Um, the one thing I want to side note, there's a lot of glitches in the game right now. They got the, the post game glitch. The post scoring glitch is crazy. You can look into it on Twitter if you want to. Everybody been reporting about it. You can type it in on, on YouTube. I mean, okay, so five minutes in a domination game, that should be more than enough time to get jiggy and actually run it up and get 68 points out of a player. So just come down here to domination may be the best bet to get 68 points. You see, I got three points out the gate with four with 15 minutes off the clock, roughly. Um, I mean, call it what it is. I couldn't get that steal there. I would just with this old team, though, I don't think they shoot much. They like to dump the ball into Wilt, but he shot the ball. He actually shot the ball. Now, I want to come down court real quick and I'm going to preserve as much wind in the lungs of my shooter that I'm using. Ultimately, that's what I want to do. I missed a shot. I got the rebound. I'm back over here. I don't know what I... Okay, so I got seven points. Wait, no. I got six points out of Buddy in roughly 40 seconds. We're going to back off on defense again. See how they kind of passing the ball around, dumping it in the wheel. Will's going to go to work and take 15 seconds off the clock, dribbling three times because that's what they did back in the day. I just recently watched that Matt, that Lakers documentary movie. I don't know if it's a movie, but it's definitely a Laker documentary show, and it's pretty good. I just got through watching both seasons of that, and yeah, Wilt took a long, I mean, Kareem took a long time off the clock, just dribble, dribble, dribble in the post. I mean, it, it's not a desired play style, but it, it is what it is. When you're running, when you trying to run and gun, though, I mean, it's like, you don't want to see that. <laughs> You'll get tired of seeing that. So let me just jump in here and get another three-pointer off. I missed that. Will gets the rebound. We got a minute and about 20 seconds off the clock, 30 seconds off the clock. So in a minute and a half, we only got six points out of Buddy, eight points out of Buddy, something like that. So, I mean, it can be done. You just got to manage your clock wisely, and you'll be able to get straight to it. I'm not afraid to take a stand, whatever he says, or something. What did Eminem say? Anyway, y'all got the picture. Y'all get to the what's it what's of what's to that and i'll try to I maybe i might do a pack opening i just said i'm not opening packs in the last video but like this video subscribe to the page and make sure you turn on no post notifications because i need that help yeah holla at your boy kobe your booze mean nothing i've seen what makes you cheer